all the time I am wondering about the global impact of the cube. The world record is less than five seconds. It looks very simple, but at the same time it can be very complicated. So, the corners, the edges, and the middles. My task was to lecturing design with several students, and for them it's a very important thing to understand structuring forms and space. And I was looking for interesting examples, because I believe it's more and more important to learn in activities, not just to memorize things. So the cube is one solid but it contains several pieces. One is the middle pieces, which are on 90 degrees axis. There are 12 edges and eight corners, because there are eight corners of the cube. Because of the coding and the freedom of the movement, it's practically infinite number of possibilities, but it's not infinite because you can count, so it's, but it's more than 43 quintillions. Interestingly, after 30 years of research and discoveries, it's proved already that only 20 moves is needed, but there is no one solution. There are methods to find solutions. If your task is to do it fast, not the shortest solution is the best. What is needed is a very good sense for pattern recognition, and naturally they need very fast hands. It started to compete with each other uh, in speed and in time, measuring time, and it became extreme sport uh, type of thing. Uh, you can do it one-handed, you can do it with feet, and, and many, many other things. All the time I am wondering about the impact of the cube. It's probably because the cube as an object, as a challenge, doesn't need any kind of language. These kind of simple forms and shapes are everywhere. You can find it in religions, you can find it as a very basic uh, knowledge. And the connection for that, it's, 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 it's important, I believe. If you look over this way, please. <laughs> 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 Professor? Right, Professor.